What's up, David Dreamers? Mathers here with a redemption round. Where we're going to try to play just one match with a mega low punny team to try to make up for that shitty battles that we had Classic Friday. Well, they weren't shitty battles, they were really good battles, but we lost both of them. So, we're gonna have a redemption round. I have another team here that I made around mega low punny. We're gonna play a game with this team and see how we do. Hopefully, we'll be able to redeem ourselves. We got a sun team, holy crap. Mega camera up sun team is really interesting. Oh uh, yeah, but we can lead with uh, this. Was, this was a problem when I was testing this team. Landorus with the uh, intimidate actually kind of does a, like just one intimidate does a lot to mega low punny actually. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, we get the flinch. Uh, let's see if we can maybe take him out with an ice punch. He does U-turn, which is unfortunate. And nothing else is really going to mind taking an Ice Punch, unfortunately. Especially with the minus one attack. And now he's going to know that I have Ice Punch. So the Volcaruna comes in, takes that Ice Punch. The Washington comes in and doesn't really mind a Quiver either. See if we can go for a hydro pump. Ooh, wait. We might bring in the heliolisk. Oh, too late. It's a sunny day. Interesting. I want a volt switch, but I don't know what into. I'm gonna do it. He does bug buzz. Oh yeah, because I'm slower. Of course I am. And we will switch. We'll be able to paint split somebody later, which will be fun. And I bet we can take him out with a fake out. Bam. We got the crit. Oh, we get burned. That sucks. That really, really sucks. The flame body actually doing something for once. Boy. That's rough. That is so rough. And he's got the sun too. Ugh. No, Ice Punch is neutral. But he just takes out an air slash. Anyway, yeah, I wasn't gonna try to save that thing because it was useless once it's gotten burned, so. Wait, he doesn't have a Mega Charizard, which is interesting. Uh, we can do. Uh, oops, sorry, I'm moving this. I just realized how much I'm moving the screen around. Sorry about that. But the I mean, the face cam is small. We can outspeed because this is a scarf Gardevoir. Something I love to do with Gardevoir. And we can go for a Thunderbolt. Wow, it must be Scarf Charizard. Scarf Charizard, not bad. We do survive that air slash. Don't get flinched and take him out with the Thunderbolt, which is really nice. There's a Heliolisk. Kind of saw that coming. Ooh, this is a tough switch, though. Because he could go for the Surf, predicting Nido King to come in. I think the safest play is to go into Washington. Goes for the Dark Pulse. Nice neutral attack. And I'm sure he's going to try to take us out right now. Could you make a crazy play? Go into Culture Vulture. How fast is this thing? It's definitely faster than Kong. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're just gonna go and try for the paint split. Although he's probably just gonna take it out with Dark Pulse. It goes with a Parabolic Charge. Interesting. I've never seen that. Respect. Parabolic Charge. <laughs> Scarf Gardevoir, I believe, because we know that he is not Scarf because he switched his moves up. So we can safely go in with the Gardevoir now. And everybody, half of his team resists Moonblast right now, so we are going to go for the Psyshock. 
I doubt Helios can take that. Oh, he can take it! <laughs> oh my god, an Hyper Beam! My goodness, okay. Alright, this is getting that interesting. Let's see, we still have... Water Shuriken can take care of the other two. These two over here, the camera at the Nine Tails. And we have Ice Beam on Kong for the Landers. Although I'm sure the Landers is Scarf, which would be a problem. Uh, I think Culture Vulture is our safest play right now. He comes in to get up the sun again with his Nine Tails. And I'm going to go for the Toxic. No, I'm going to go for the Knockoff, because if he brings in that Landers, we can get a knockoff on it. Yes! Yes, we get rid of the Scarf! That's so important. Okay, okay, okay. That is Toxic. If something's going to Toxic, then not, nothing's going to appreciate it. I don't know what this Landers wants to do. It's going to Stone Edge. It's an interesting choice. I am physically defensive, so I can take an even I can take another one of those if I wanted to. But I can just roost too. So heal all the damage you just did. And more. <laughs> and well, he's just gonna go down toxics. I'm gonna roost one more time. Yeah, he's still gonna try to get that crit, actually. That's probably what he's thinking. But I am gaining health. So there's no reason for me. And he's losing sun turns as well. Uh I mean, yeah. He's gonna roost one more time. He misses his Stone Edge. He might go down to this tower, maybe? No, not quite. But there's still no reason for me not to go to a Roost, because he is gonna hit me with that one. And I will Roost again, and he now he's gonna go down to Toxic. So we're in a pretty good position. Here comes the camera up. I'm gonna Toxic this thing. I know it's slower than me, because the camera up is slow as hell. Even ahead. <laughs> It's max speed ties with my minimum speed. He does Mega Evolve and I get the Toxic, and he goes for a Fire Blast, which does take me out, which is kind of expected because Camerick is powerful, and uh, Mandibuzz does not have much on the specially defensive side. Ooh, why did I do that? Uh, probably should have gone for Kong with the Earth Power, but because of the Sun, but actually I think the Sun's going to... Okay. Two, three, four, and he takes us out with the earth power. Alright, it's all up to Kong. That was foolish. I should not have gone for the water type move while the sun was still up. <laughs> thank you. He says respect for the water shuriken. I say thank you. Pretty awesome. I'm just going to go for the earth power without speed. No problem. And now comes the Nine Tails. My Nine Tails might be able to take this Earth Power because Nine Tails is pretty bulky on the special side. I'm pretty sure. And he does have the side shock. And I take him out. Whoo! GG. Came down to the wire. It was really good, really good. And finally, uh, Mega Low Pony does get some redemption for that battle, and definitely deserved it. So, all right, that's gonna be it for this though. Uh, keep dreaming, Diglets, and I'll see you next time.